got Evan and John from I Declare War. John, good friend. He came up on the show right before Death Fest. It's all good. So you guys did an epic fucking performance. Really good um, for Left Alive's last show. What was seen here for you, especially with the viaduct being like volunteer ran, what does it mean to you guys? Um, it's really cool because basically all of the kids that started coming to our shows when nobody knew about us, like, help run this venue and like really try to do something for like getting smaller local bands like you know shots at like playing in front of people and it's it's really awesome it's like the guys that were behind the junkyard in the hall and basically like for me personally like the hall like the summer of 06 when we started playing the hall was like probably one of the best summers of my life and like it was a lot of fun like you know we'd play with nothing to prove and never looking back left alive open fire they come in swarms zero year all of our homies and like it was just really cool, like that they actually got this going, and like that they're still able to do it because like it gives a lot of uh, awesome kids and legit bands like a chance to really like start blossoming and have a place to play and call their own. So yeah. So you guys put out a couple new songs. Well, one song on the MySpace, playing live, a couple new ones. What what was the new influence for that? Um, I mean, musically. <laughs> been getting into groovy stuff lately and like a lot of red cord just the grooves I don't know what it is but that's, I've been writing that kind of stuff lately and, and a lot of white chapel and Casius always be there I know just the, the grooves are my new thing <laughs> I think that you could expect a lot of groovier stuff what? Me personally, like, um, I think the new stuff is a lot, I mean, I'm not going to lie, like, majority of the old songs, like, we've been playing for two plus years, if not longer, and, like, we're all really burnt out on them, and, like, we're just really trying to progress to, like, our next level of musicianship, like, vocally, like, like I told you on the interview on the radio, you know, um, just pretty much going to stick with, like, the mid, really burly range vocals and, like, the real gutturally, like, gurgly stuff, like, that you can expect on... Some songs more than others, depending on like where it fits and everything. But so I heard, me, yeah, I heard some differences in some of the older songs too, yeah. using different vocal yeah stuff too. Um, and like for me, like like with them, like you know, every time I come to practice, it's like I hear something a little new or a little different. It's like you know, it's like you take through the eyes of the dead and red the red chord and the Acacia Strain and White Chapel and like you know, you kind of blend them all together. Like I'm taking like elements of like. Like my favorite vocalist ever, Kyle Davis from Molotov Solution, and like um, Angel from Condemned, and, and Matt from Guttural Secrete, and Mike from Devourment, and like really like developing like the guttural gurgle sounds, and like just making it sound as like low and inhumanly as possible, like to where you can't recognize the words, so it sounds like really sick and like really crazy, but at the same time, like you know the mids like are so aggressive, and like that's like what really like pumps a lot of people up is hearing how angry they sound so my last question <laughs> what was the idea when you guys came up with doing bring the season i <laughs> i used to like record my own like songs just by myself at home and it was always like a thing of mine that i wanted to do something just ridiculous and we finally we did we did the first version of Keller of the bells in 06 yeah and then played it at um, Club Impact and yeah, kids crazy. went crazy. That was the first show we played in like about two or three months and it was right before we actually got signed to Compton and we played that and I remember there's about two hundred plus kids there and the place went crazy. Yeah. So it was it was kinda of fun. I personally don't like really playing them anymore because it's kinda of <laughs> was a joke and kids just like want them all the time. Even when we're out on tour in May, kids were like yeah. in Alabama or like Georgia like Florida, Florida <laughs> like play the Christmas song and I'm like, You've never seen snow. <laughs>